for Paralympics women road race. Kristen Buckner of the USA team emerged to claim the gold medal in the women's Olympic road race. On a day littered with tactical confusion, the absence of race radios only fueled the sense of mayhem. It needed a cool head to assess the possibilities for victory, and when it came to the pivotal moment, the best laid plans of the world's top racers were blown apart in the chaos of the cobbled streets of Minwardra. Just under three kilometers from the Trocadero, it was Wagner who seized the moment and attacked. Mary Anbo, Monaco, Becky, and Blanca that through the tactical stalemate that allowed the American to slip clear. The riders were left to ponder what might have been as a potentially race-winning scenario evaporated and left them fighting for the minor medals, although Pfeiffer Georgie ended up the creditable fifth. Belgium, the Netherlands, and Italy, starting with a full quota of four competitors, the race was more uncontrolled than the men's race. As in the men's race, an opportunistic break moved clear in the early stages, but it was on the Cote du Pivet de Garda, 90 kilometers from the finish, that the first serious attacks materialized. Further accelerations put pay to the early breakaways and the main favorites arrived together at the finishing circuit on the Cote de la Buta and Mordra. A crash by Chloe Digger held up Cote Gucky. That proved the catalyst for a select group that included all three British riders. But that situation was short-lived. They three ended up unwittingly attacking each other. So Gucky eventually moved the front of the race. I had to go all in to get myself in contention again, said Go Gucky. With 22 kilometers remaining, though in Hungary's long pass followed Dignan in a sudden attack, but Dignan was dropped behind as the road rose towards Minmartyra once more. So and Vass were on their own, bound for the podium, until Go Gucky, working with Kristen Faulkner, set off in pursuit on the last of three climbs to the Sagre Kerr. The Olympics is a completely different dynamic to any other race, said fifth place fight for Georgie. Faulkner, wholly deserved her success. Selfless in pursuit of Go and Vass as they closed on the finish line. She received minimal support in the chase from Go Becky, who was content to sit in her slipstream. When, 3.5 kilometers from the finish, the quartet finally came together, Kristen Faulkner did not hesitate. As so, Bass and Go Becky dallied. Faulkner, knowing she had a poor sprint finish, immediately counter-attacked to take gold. Faulkner was quoted saying, It was my moment and I knew I had to take it. I feel like it's a dream come true. I took a really big risk a few years ago to come to pursue my dream and I made it happen. It's the best feeling in the world. I don't know how to describe it. I knew that it would be a really tough race, but I was racing to win. That was a promise I made to my Team Pursuit teammates. I had high hopes. I'm racing Team Pursuit in two days, and so I said I'd only do the road race if I felt strong and felt I had a chance at the medal. See you for the track action. Thanks, Legends, and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Subscribe, share, like, and vote in the community polls.